one this time the sound is on <laughs> fuck my life cost in gaming why would Re why world of warcraft wrath of the lich king classic will be a disaster and blizzard won't fix it we all know why but fuck it let's watch it let's see what the guy says Boom, Warcraft let's go. The Lich King Classic is going to come out later this year, and from my perspective, yeah, yeah. it is going to be a gigantic disaster. Of course it is. Everyone knows it. It's gonna be the same shit. Again, like, if you don't have a guild that just progs uh, legitimately, legitimately, and, I mean, it's gonna be a pay-to-advance a, a pay type of situation. <laughs> for classic World of Warcraft. Not because Wrath in itself is going to be bad, but because classic yeah, is, a good game. is in a pretty terrible state server wise, yep. population wise, community wise, First. economy wise. Because the game is uh, fucking dog shit. Uh, gold bid wise, RMTs, boosting, you name it, yep. classic has it. In fact, First. from that perspective, community. Welcome to the real world, asshole. <laughs> RMT, etc. Where's the jackass? Jackass. In many ways worse off than retail, which was kind of the point about classic that we wanted to avoid we wanted a version of the game that was older that had that older charm but also would have a better community but <laughs> it's the same people though also let's be real classic community is probably one of the toxic gaming communities ever and trust me when i say this retail is not better but Classic is just as bad, okay? I don't think any WoW community is good. <laughs> just go to the class discords and try to say something and see if you don't get banned. <laughs> but their environment for people to play. And this is exactly where Classic, at least for a moment, has failed. It's not that the issues that Classic has can't be solved. It's that Blizzard doesn't seem to be interested in tackling them in any way, Why shape, would you? form. Good. People don't seem to understand. It is financially extremely not worth for Blizzard to do anything with Classic. I am not lying when I'm saying straight up, Blizzard took a massive chance remaking Classic TBC and Wrath because that shit ain't making money for them. Beyond paying lip service to them, if even that. But let's talk a bit about Wrath the Lich King. In isolation, Wrath of the Lich King would be a great expansion. It does have yeah. a very... Uh, uh, it can have a very... Out of the three, like Classic, TBC, and Wrath, I'd say Wrath is the best one. But it's also the beginning of the end, you know? Solid you know what I mean? Experience for players. Like, it is what it is. Gameplay and class balance is significantly superior to either Vanilla or Burning Crusade. Classes are not just better to play overall for pretty much every single player. I mean, I vastly prefer playing the prop paladin or half versus. Yeah, I mean, all paladin specs are pretty much overpowered, and uh, wrath uh, retribution finally feels like an actual uh, an actual spec and class. So yeah, and also, but like yeah, prop paladin is just so busted. It's crazy. The prop paladin and burning crusade. Uh, it's not just that. Same with the dark knight, by the way. Death knight, dark knight. Is a lot better than it has been. Is it perfect? No. Is every class just as viable as the other? No. Of some course not. Some classes are significantly worse. For the whole expansion, some classes are just dog shit. Soft than others. We do certainly have... Uh, uh, one sec, we're back. Okay. Where are we? Here. Uh, the attitude of the DK warlock uh, mage meta that is going to be inherited from private servers. I guess we're going to see how it's going to play out in classic. From my perspective, it's going to be very strong. All the same. 
uh, Wrath does have a lot going for it. In terms of raiding encounters, you also have some of the best raids that Blizzard has ever released in the history. Um, has one raid that's considered the best. ICC is just iconic. I don't think ICC is that good of a raid. I mean, how many good fights do you really have in ICC? Vampire Queen, Blood, whatever her name is, Blood Queen, um, Lich King. Uh, professor. That's about it. As far as I remember, those are the only fights that are like, wow. Sindragosa was mm, okay. It was kind of like a callback to Nextramus, though, in my opinion. Um, but then again, so Frost Dragon, what do you what do you expect, right? Um, yeah, but it's like Uldor was just the best uh, overall. Uh, next is next of the game or one of the best raids that blizzard has ever released in the history of the one, game yeah and old war you also have some really good bosses in, and very good challenging ones uh, such as memoron and lich king himself yep. so you do have quite a bit on offer also raft the lich king is held as the gold standard of pvp either that or capitalism uh, in the history of the game so there's quite a lot of things on ah. offer for raft the lich king and i would say the reason it has the gold star for PvP is because people that played the most popular classes of all times had a good time. <laughs> so, you know, everyone, almost everyone has a Paladin, but Paladin sucks in PvP in almost every expansion, except Wrath and Cataclysm had uh, Holy Paladin was overpowered. Um... Hunters, one of the most popular. Mages are one of the most popular classes. Well, mages are always like good in PvP, so it doesn't really matter. Right? Uh, Death Knight, one of the most po more popular classes, especially in Wrath. So, I I think everyone had a good time in Wrath because the most popular classes were overpowered as well. Honestly, doing the leveling, the gold farming, etc., in isolation, if Wrath was being released in isolation, is a lot better off. You'll, you'll be a lot better off doing that than Wrath. If yeah. Wrath was in isolation, completely detached from Classic, you'd be uh, a lot better off doing that in Wrath than you have been in TBC or Vanilla. Yeah, I'm so A lot of good things. What are the bad things? Well, two of the rating tiers are some of the worst in the game. Like, Wrath is this weird combination of some really good stuff and some really bad stuff. The heroic dungeons and the dungeons in general, yeah, they have some cool designs here and there, but overall they just end up being terrible. And uh, right yep. in terms of rating tier for up until ICC dungeons, the dungeons in Wrath are actually like extremely boring. Like, so boring. All the quality that you might have in Old War and in ICC, though I think ICC is an okay rate, it's not a great yep. rating tier. I mean, some great bosses, some really terrible bosses. Yeah. Um but for all the good that can come from Old War or Ice Crown Citadel, you still have two of the worst raids in the game's entire history with Nax yep. 2 Tier 7, and Trial of the Grand Crusader Tier 9. So I don't know why people hate Trial of the Crusader. Well, Trial of the Grand Crusader. I feel like Trial of the Grand Crusader is probably the best raid tier that they have made. The boss is not so much. But as far as the raid environment goes, I think nothing beats it. Just like straight up boss after boss after boss. I think that's the best. Which are really bad. But here's the thing. Blizzard does seem to be aware of the shortcomings that Wrath does have, at least from a raiding perspective. They uh -huh. seem to be aware that, yeah, you don't want to have people doing Max 2.0 for months and months on end. The player base would plummet, off, uh, would fall off a cliff if that was the case. I mean, they need to get to that cliff first. It's exceptionally frustrating, uh, frustrating for a lot of people to have to do Trial of the Grand Crusader three or four times a week. So they're looking to, do, to implement some changes in that. We don't know... How significant these changes are, we don't know how they're going to tackle things. It probably won't be anything mind uh, mind blowing. Like I think when it comes to Nax 2.0, what they should do is have it last two months at most, and vastly increase the amount of raid drops from the like double it or 1.5x rate. And when it comes to item drops, that would certainly make things a lot. 
they would never ever make 2x drop rates for one raid tier because it would make all the other raid tiers feel like shit. Better. In Trial of the Grand Crusader, they could implement a limit in the sense you can't do uh, 10 normal and 10 heroic on the same week or 25 normal and 25 heroic. You have to choose. You either do normal or you do heroic. That's something they implemented in Ice Crown Citadel, by the way. And I think that would be a very positive change overall. But but Raph honestly doesn't necessarily need significant. I don't think they should limit it. People want to do it, they can do it. I mean, if you're doing it right, why would you do normal? Fixes. Let's be clear on this. Doesn't need significant fixes. What needs significant fixes is classic. Classic is just in a really <laughs> broken state. And let me go over why that is. Let's go. Yeah. First off, we have the server issue. The server issue in classic has been from the very, very start of the game. Very we issue. just had way too few servers at the launch of classic vanilla for the number of for the number of people that were going to play classic. And yes, Blizzard did panic at servers after launch. By that point, the damage had been done. People ended up on the mega servers with multiple layers which really killed uh, or really had the significantly detrimental impact on the community in the game because when mega uh. servers even if classic ended, ended up being uh, swarmed by bots and gold sellers and gold buyers even without that it just created a situation where leveling on your own was a nightmare what i don't agree i think mega servers are actually the way to go overall problem is the sharding but at the same time the problem the solution is also the sharding for the problem but uh if you think that if blizzard added more servers at the beginning would have solved anything hell no take final fantasy for example when endwalker came out there was fifteen thousand, eight to fifteen thousand person queue for each server and even though eventually i think they added servers that like it it sucked but people were still waiting in that queue to play they would get their wife to queue them up for two hours before they come home the issues were the, the disconnection errors that was the biggest issue but no like the queue time was like it sucked but it didn't make people not want to play it if classic was as good as people want to be who cares if there's a queue time you're gonna wait it's a good game where a uh, farming in the open world was a no-go so people instance farmed and instance uh, and use the instances also i'm not saying that queues are good what i'm saying is you have dead servers because the game is shit. not because they added too many servers they added as many servers as they needed to fit to make the queue time be non-existent no one stayed though. Within a month, you already had dead servers. I mean, that's how it is, because the game is fucking dog shit. To level up. And then the bots came, and then the gold sellers came, and then things got worse. And this issue has gotten worse over the years, especially with Burning Crusade Classic, though it was already pretty bad in vanilla. See, the combination of a bad handling of the initial server situation combined with the bots the gold sellers and blizzards in action on the gold sellers and bots has furthered uh has significantly worsened the problem i don't know if you realize that the only solution that blizzard can do for the bots and the only solution they ever found was the wow token and people don't want the wow token well listen they're offering a solution you don't want that solution and what do you want? They want you want a better solution? They can't do anything about it. It's a free to play game with monthly subscription. You can instantly make a thousand bots uh to replay to play it again. Right? It's like it's not you know like it's not that much of a big deal. It's like it's like asking Lost Ark to do something about the bots. They can't do anything about it because it's a free game. Anyone can just log in. They can't identify them fast enough. It's impossible. They're just gonna make more and more bots, and they're gonna make, gonna make them smarter and smarter the more times they get banned. You're not gonna do anything about the bots, right? It's like, and also when people say it's like, well, uh, Elysium or Nostalgia didn't have bots. 
Because no one was fucking playing it. It had like 15,000 players. And that existed from the very launch of Classic. Now, let's be clear. This didn't have to be like this, but it has ended up like this. And the issue got so bad when it come, came to the economy that not only were Flas, not only could you not farm Black Lotus on a highly populated server, and not only were the prices for Black Lotus is very high on those kind of servers, but people, not just bots or gold sellers, but actual players would end up transferring their characters to lower populated servers just to farm all those Black Lotuses or materials yeah. in general, take their characters back, transferring them back to their to the mega servers, and then sell those materials, those crafting materials, those... Yeah, you know what solves that? Bots. <laughs> Bots actually solve that problem. Black Lotus is to make a lot of money, and quite a few people did did so, that aren't gold sellers, that aren't gold buyers, that aren't bots, let alone what the bots did. It created a shortage of... Just think how many uh, Lotuses you need to make that transfer even worth anything. Holy fuck. Any flask on lower populated servers, and it vastly increased the prices on the higher populated uh, servers. What ended up happening? If we... Of course. I mean, like what, what, what do you expect? Actually, that should it, it should actually decrease the price on high populated. And wait, did he say? What did he say? It's a shortage of any flask on lower populated servers, yeah. and it vastly increased the prices on the higher populated. Yeah. See, why would it increase the prices? That makes no sense. It would actually decrease the price because now you have the bots farming that on the server and you have people who are transferring to a different server to bring more into this server so if anything should cost less the only reason it would cost more is because people bought it out regardless and again you will always have mega servers it's not like it's a uh, phenomenon it's like even in retail after so many years you have mega servers and some of them haven't even been merged like illidan is its own server i believe it's not merged with anything and it's like number three or something like that in like in in its population you're always going to have mega servers because people will tend to go to where most people are if blizzard limited the amount of people per server to let's say ten thousand, and then it's like well you can't join this server you have to go to a different server then yeah maybe you would not have a problem with mega servers but even then you might have a problem with mega servers let's be real right so because it's like 10 000, 10 000 people online doesn't mean that you can't have twelve thousand people playing the, uh, servers what ended up happening if we cur look at ironforge.pro on the current server data we can see that things have actually gotten worse benediction has thirty thousand active players according to warcraft last time see just benediction has more players than all of nostalgers active raiders fire ma has almost fifty thousand as well fairlina fairlina. i'm surprised fairlina wait isn't fairlina hey isn't fairlina asmongold server why is it all horde i thought it was the alliance server grobulus twenty thousand gehenna's eighteen thousand white mean fifteen thousand and then venoxus mancrick all that uh, but here's the thing, you do have these mega servers and then you see that a lot of servers start plummeting and plummeting. Yes, because people who are in that server will transfer to a mega server because it's less likely for it to die. There's no solution to this, it's it's player behavior. Plummeting and then you have quite a few dead servers really, like a lot of servers have died. Yeah, Because of, of the way Blizzard has handled. You Like there's nothing to handle though. Why is it so hard to understand? Blizzard cannot handle this. They cannot force people to play on a server they don't want to play on. Do you want to make uh, server transfers like something you can't buy? Is that what you want to do? Then as soon as someone's guild leaves, they also gonna leave. This way, at least like my guild left or like, you know, whatever. My, like whoever remained, we can go to a bigger server with their people and we can like, we can find people to raid with right it's like it's always gonna happen but you're never gonna have uh what's it called you're always gonna have dead servers and you're never not gonna have mega servers it's impossible uh, this 
particular issue. But this issue is only part of the equation because then, of course, you get the gold sellers, you get the bots, you get the gold farmers, you get the boosters. And the boosting yeah. has certainly continued in Burning Crusade and will absolutely continue, oh, 100%. continue in Wrath. Yeah. All of Day this two. combined creates really damages the community of, of a game, really, really damages the... Again, if there was no demand, there wouldn't be a supply. People are supplying it because people are demanding it. Simple as that. It's player behavior, it's human behavior. You're not gonna change it. Blizzard can't do anything about it. What are they gonna do? They're gonna tell, okay, you're not allowed to level boost anyone. How are you gonna monitor it? It's like, well, I'm a, I'm a frost mage and uh, my buddy over here is uh, playing and uh, I'm just like pulling a lot of shit and killing it for him. Like, is that illegal? No. Well, then I'm gonna just keep doing it. It's like, well, why does it give you gold? Oh, well, you know, it just helps me out with gold. It's like, how does he have gold? I don't know. You ask him. It's like, the booster doesn't, like, you can't do anything with the booster. Then it's like, okay, where does he get gold? Well, good luck figuring that out, okay? And it's like, also, you need live GMs to figure that shit out, right? So it's like, never gonna happen. Um, yeah, like, bro, you can't solve this. People buy this shit because... Uh, sorry, people supply this shit because people buy this shit. Like it's player base. World of Warcraft might as well be called World of Goldcraft, really, or World. Of... Yeah, basically. Of gold bed runs because if you can't farm gold in the open world, then you're reduced to instance farming. If you can't level in the open world, you're reduced to instance leveling. And look, here's the thing. If the content was good and rewarding, people would not demand these services that's all it is like you cannot fix this unless you change the, what the game is if leveling sucks and someone offers you hey man here's uh, pay me this and i'm gonna get leveling done for you a lot easier it's like yeah fuck it let's do it i don't give a shit i'm i'm tired of leveling because leveling sucks if people want to buy i don't know uh what's called uh raid boosts well listen the raids might be too hard it's too hard to find a guild um it's too much of a hassle and honestly i just want the gear and they don't care about the raid yeah people are gonna do that hey you think this doesn't happen in every other fucking game that has bosses listen if you don't care about the fight you don't only care about the gear you're gonna find a way to do the fight without uh without with the least amount of effort if you just want to do the fight, then you don't care how you do it, right? It's like you probably will, are one of the people who would get a guild and like actually do it properly, but good luck finding more people who want that because, again, if people are buying the skips, means they don't like the content. That's all it is. So if the content, like you can't, like if the only thing that's keeping people to, from playing, uh, sorry, the only thing that makes people play classic and all that shit is basically nostalgia and people like i have been people have been arguing with me on like youtube about this and like in comments and stuff like well i'm really enjoying the game and uh it's not nostalgic for me because i'm new good you're one in a billion good for you i'm glad you're enjoying it but let's be real everyone who played classic is playing it for nostalgic reasons not because it's a good game and that's all it is and it's like you're not gonna get it back the world move on the only time you're getting it back is with stuff like nostalgia or like private servers because there are no players there therefore there's no bots because no you don't have like bots are not gonna make money off of that right it's like it's not enough players there's not enough demand for the supply so do you want wow to have dead servers of like a few thousand players at most well you you're not gonna have a good time okay like straight up the only reason you're having a good time ish is because you actually are able to get a group and even then people aren't doing instances they're getting boosted in those instances that's a far more effective and also don't way. forget because the servers are moving forward for, for, so for example you have nostalgia or whatever like i don't honestly i don't know any other classes so i keep saying nostalgia 
um, the only reason people don't care about loot there as much is because the server is not going anywhere. In the sense, it's like it's not being patched. If you have a level 60, you get to keep your level 60. It's not like in a few months a new patch comes out with new content. It's not like TBC is around the corner and you have to rush to get gear because it's going to be relevant. No, there is a max and you can stay in that max and then you can actually like raid more and not care about loot and help people out and be more friendly yes you're not gonna get it with this scarcity mentality that you get in wow never every time you get gear well i better get the gear soon because i want to be able to use it because when the patch comes out my gear is useless and i have to grind it again so i might as i would rather get it first and if i get it first that's good and if i don't i'm pissed because now people have it and i don't now i fell behind now i have to catch up and that's not a fun feeling so yeah that's how it is and leveling then doing quests or leveling on your own so the adventure that we hoped would happen in classic the experience the social experience where we go out and meet people. how do you have an adventure if you know exactly where everything is and the route and how to get it people like and get together and all that that really is the biggest dragon series. holy shit because of the way blizzard handled the servers no it's not good. stop blaming blizzard for player behavior gold buyers gold sellers rmt in general and the ultimate expression of that is what we're seeing today with gold bid runs where people are spending tens of thousands of gold, if not hundreds of thousands of gold pieces oh, to not? get items. There's quite yeah. a lot of gold bid runs where the people that are running them are getting the equivalent of hundreds. Uh, one second before I forget. Uh, as much as I love blaming Wizard for pretty much everything. Even uh, much everything I can. <laughs> For player behavior that basically, that is basically the reason for most of your complaints about why. Pop lock, TVC, and classic suck. It's of dollars per run, and they're running multiple uh, runs. And there are certainly some people that are running those gold bed runs that are selling the gold that they are acquiring. Yeah. Gold that is okay. farmed by the bots, by the by the sellers, taken by the buyers, taken into the gold bed runs. It really messes the economy of the game, and it messes the community, yeah. and it really has a significantly damaging impact for people that are fine with the status quo all right you know you accept how the game is but you have to understand the way the game is in classic right now is just broken and it's certainly not enjoyable <laughs> every, pretty much everyone that i've talked to when it comes to the idea of me going back to classic because i stopped uh, classic tbc in phase one of classic tbc has basically told me the same thing join gold bed runs get geared from heroics or something yeah. like that and then join gold bed run that's that's how you're, you're gonna get the gold so it's have... like mythic plus carries in uh in retail yeah that's how you make that's like the uh was i guess because they shut down a lot of the discords but it's like that was the easiest way the most brain dead way to make gold i had i know a better way but it takes a lot longer but this is the, the most stable way to make gold and shit, some people were even making a living off of it in like certain parts of the world yeah i mean what's in the, what what is a mythic plus carry that is technically a gdkp run that's all it is because honestly you might you probably don't even need the gear from mythic plus 15 at that point if you're doing the carries right it's like whatever it's like yeah that's also gdkp it's like people buying carry runs in uh, heroic and mythic raids that's a gdkp technically to participate in the, in the system or you're going to be left behind i'm not saying you have to buy gold but ultimately the gold you will get is from the bots and the gold sellers and the gold buyers yeah that were that's where that gold is coming from we know that's where that gold is. i don't know what you want to happen to like you cannot stop this it's coming from and blizzard doesn't seem to want to do anything about this so wrath of the lich king classic as a result of that is going to be a gigantic shit pile because of that, you can't expect items to go for hundreds of thousands. I really want to know what he wants Wrath of Lich King to be. 
like what do you think would happen let's say you don't have any of you don't have the extra gold you don't have the bots right let's say let's say you don't have the bots right do you think mgdkp uh, like whatever these runs mgkp or whatever they're called fuck it do you really think they're gonna stop no why would they the amount of gold spent might be less but percentage wise it would still be painful for, for the pocket how it is right um what like what else would stop people selling boosts like in, in like xp boosts never gonna happen that's a player behavior thing like you can't stop it blizzard can't do anything about it. it's within the terms of service for you to help out and helping out can give you money as well so it's like a handshake sent so okay so boosting would never stop okay uh what else so are those the two big ones really like any anything else that's preventing you from playing the game that's that's his like legit his two complaints is that right you think the raids are gonna be hard ah old war might be but again mgdkp mgkp mdkp whatever it's called. you're not gonna fix it there's nothing to fix the only thing the bots are doing is like making it so people can buy gold and it's like oh it fucks up the economy yeah but also makes it so people who don't buy gold have gold yeah it fucks up the economy but so what the economy let's be real the economy of wrath of the lich king if there were no bots in my opinion is really really bad overall if a woman had to sell her body <laughs> to get flying mount in wrath of the lich king that's not ideal you honestly want to have once you reach level 80 on your first character you want to have from all the quest stuff uh rewards and stuff like that like from farming while leveling and stuff like that you want to have over 5,000 gold at that point that 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 would be the point it's like you get flying when you reach max level because you made the gold right because level 80 uh like uh storm peaks and icc that are well i see is kind of flying zone not really but like preferably and storm Peaks is a flying zone you kind of want to have flying for those hmm. and guess what if you don't you are missing out on like basically all of the end game content yeah. gold and wrath like if my items were going for thousands in vanilla and now they're going for tens of thousands with Dodd exception of hundreds, thousands, you can be certain that there will be items going in Wrath the Lich King being sold for hundreds of thousands of gold pieces. And it's not just that people are sure. going to participate in the gold bid runs. Gold bid runs aren't inherently broken, but they absolutely are terrible to have in such a such a real money trading dominated economy that Classic has. Now, what would be the solutions to this? Well, there's no mm, easy fix. If there, there was no an fix. easy fix, I'm sure Blizzard would implement it. Blizzard would need to hire a lot more staff to be able to police the game, uh, ban the bots. Can't it is it. possible. Anyone who excuses that is ignoring the fact that it is very possible. It's not. Servers can't ban the bots, and they're certainly just... You can't. You legit can't. It's a free-to-play game. It's a free-to-download game. It just has a subscription. You're not going to ban the bots. Anyone who thinks that you can ban the bots that easily is delusional. You cannot. You legit cannot. It's like the people who make the bots, first of all, the more you ban them, the easier it is for them to figure out how to avoid getting banned. Yeah, the mass reporting, you can get some of the bots banned. Sure, good luck getting all of them mass reported. Let alone there's like, you know, like there were like uh, stealthy druids and rogues doing runs that's like... They just come out they go and they go back in it's like you you're not gonna be able to target all of them you have to like have a group of people spamming outside of a dungeon waiting for them to come out and click them over and over and over like good luck with that and like being fast enough on all of them never gonna happen right can blizzard like oh well uh, they just need a gm in that spot and, like every time one of them comes out just kicks them like bans them right it's like yeah okay this is supposed to be there 24 7 are they gonna do like guard shifts like uh policing like eight hour shifts of just standing outside of one of the dungeons you're gonna have multiple uh gms standing outside of multiple dungeons 24 hours a day 
Give me a fucking break, man. This, this is not a real solution. To bend them manually. Now, make a system that bends all of them together. Yeah, first of all, good luck. Right? And even if that happens, they'll figure it out how, they'll figure out how to do it so that they don't get bent next time. Right? It's like, this is not a real solution. Like, hiring more people is not gonna do much. Just as many people that are that want to bot on private servers as they do. And also, it's it's gonna cost Blizzard too much money to deal with it. And let's be real, Classic is not giving them that much money. Classic, let's be crystal clear on that. But if private servers can control this issue. Now. Private servers can control this because no one plays them. You have a very small amount of bots on private servers because there's a very small demand because there are no players there. So you can easily ban, ban like a handful of bots manually. There's no reason to have that many bots on one server, one private server. A lot let it get out of control. Uh -huh. Blizzard has absolutely no excuse given the fact that there's Yes, they do. Play. Blizzard had like 2 million players playing Classic. That's like, I don't know, 20,000 times more bots at least. Developer. They just don't care because the bots oh are both sellers to go buyers. They buy their services. They literally pay the money. Subscribe. Again, do they care or not? I can't say, but that is the, like, care or not, that is not the reason. They just cannot keep up. Transfers, etc. They are paying for services. Blizzard is making quite a lot of money from the bots. In fact... They're really not. Blizzard is not making that much money off the bots. Do you really think... Okay, so for example, let's say bots are 30% of the population, right? And let's say you have, per server, when I'm over-exaggerating, let's say you have, um, you have multiple servers, because right now we saw the TBC one, um, how many players there were. Over, a bit over a hundred thousand across the realms, right? But let's say you have a hundred thousand players, right? Thirty percent of them are bots. Let's say, right? So thirty thousand bots. Thirty thousand times fifteen is four hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month. Meanwhile, from the seventy thousand people, you make twice of that, right? So uh, seven hundred uh, one point. Uh, 0 0.05 million, right? Or uh, yeah, 1.05 million uh, dollars com compared to like the 300,000, the 350, 450, right? Um, am I calculating this wrong? I think I'm calculating this wrong. Uh, 70,000 times, yeah, 1.05, yeah, yeah, and then 30,000 times 15, yeah, 450, okay. So, you have the 450,000 per month from the bots. Now, in my opinion, first of all, I'm being very generous on the amount of bots for the amount of people. It's probably like a lot less, but let's see. 450,000 is nothing to Blizzard. Right, what is the time for the year? Right, uh, times 12. 5.5 million dollars to blizzard is a joke this is what they make a year from these bots fucking joke they would ra much rather have people happy buying the gold and playing the game because they're more likely to buy services straight up this per year for blizzard is a joke have you seen what blizzard makes a year it's like in the billions. You think they give a shit about this? You think this bots are making money for Blizzard? This is like spit money. This is like Bobby like brushes his teeth with more money than that. Right? He wipes his ass with more money than that a year. Okay? Like, yeah, you know, bots are not making Blizzard any fucking money. Not in classic. Now, in retail, maybe they would because they would have to rebuy the game every time. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we found out that G2G, the main gold-selling uh, website, is giving Blizzard the cut. 
under the table so that they don't completely uh, bro they, they... you really think they would be giving blizzard a cut even if they were like it's so not worth it and ban everyone that's involved i, I wouldn't be surprised oh, that at all. blizzard knows what's happening blizzard knows of course they do in, and they're not doing anything they can and it's not the fault of the classic team they they are running the show on a shoestring budget but the problem <sighs> is activision and blizzard the higher ups in activision and blizzard just don't care and well, of course they don't because if you want to increase the budget of classic you have to justify it it's still a business venture to make the classic servers it makes no fucking sense for them if the servers don't make money oh but they can invest and then they'll get a return how are they gonna get a return what are you gonna buy in wow that is worth it as a return oh you're gonna buy a, a player transfer well that's against classic what, 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 what are you gonna buy a, a, a player boost oh well that's against classic what are you gonna buy oh the the mounts the like the the package well that's against classic there's no incentive for them to put any effort into this aside from give you the game and let the community just deal with it there's absolutely no incentive and classic ends up being a big pile of crap because of it and because rough. it is a pile of crap man times have changed get on with the program like you you literally all you want you want a classic server this is like i'm telling right now what these like uh, classic andies or whatever you want to call them this is what they want really they want a dedicated classic server that doesn't change so it's classic forever um they want it to have a smaller amount like no mega service a small amount of players so like bots don't have an incentive to go there um they want if there's a tbc server to not come from their own characters so it's like a free character transfer and like well, all that stuff and they want the same for tbc as the one for classic with the server cap and all that stuff yes yeah, i'm gonna happen these servers cost money bro is going to be a big pile of crap because of this very issue because of the combination of servers rmts gold beds it is going to be a disaster of a, <sighs> of a game and it's going to ruin the enjoyment a lot of people will have a lot of people have asked me oh how do i farm gold and wrath well if not for the situation classic i'd say get gathering professions go mine go herb or use something like jewel crew your jewel crafting cooldown your mining cooldown um craft items do daily quests sell the materials all that get valor sell the boes etc there are ways to earn quite a bit of gold in raft list but imagine how much time you're gonna have to waste to make the 5k gold doing what he just described and also don't forget if because when i played wrath do you know how hard it was to find uh, Cobalt Ore? Not Cobalt, the other one. Uh, the higher level one. Adamant Adamantite? Yeah. Adamantium, or whatever it's called. Adamantium was so hard to find, because everyone and his sister was miners. Everyone was a miner. It was fucking possible to find uh, ores. And when you did find one, guess what? someone else also found it so you're fighting with that guy on like mining it that is an extremely not good way to make money on like a server that has a lot of people extreme not the best way to make money by far bar none is not gathering it's enchanting and i want to say honestly because you can only have one more profession you might as well be uh cloth here because cloth you can get from uh monsters and enchanting you can get from like like doing dungeons you are so much better off selling enchants and uh, what's it called and uh, cloth stuff because there's no competition on it. like there's competition in the market but there's no competition in the sense it's like it's a you can acquire it a lot a lot more easily right and also you can uh buy like stuff with like uh, badges that you don't need buy purples disenchant and make other shit with it that is really how you want to make money gathering professions is limited because you you have too much competition in the world same with like and skinning is just takes too long and shit like that 
but also no one does skinning so maybe skinning is actually sometimes good in wad i believe skinning was pretty good but not if the economy is dominated by bots what about leveling what's the best way to level again if dungeon we, grinding if we didn't have all the issues in classic and the mega servers i would say oh go to burian tendra do quests with karen tor when we're at no again does this guy even know what he's talking about no the best way to level is dungeon grinding oh it is you grind dungeons how come in classic everyone was doing um a monastery scarlet monastery for leveling people couldn't wait to get to 33 to spam dungeons until like mid 50s because leveling itself is slow and boring and it's not fun right it's like so uh, you want to get over it and this is not even through the boost this is just people who just want to level faster because the leveling experience sucks rest get a reputation because you do want to have that reputation and do, <laughs> do dungeons you're gonna get a reputation as well as doing some dungeons in between but what's likely going to happen in classic is that people are just really going to level through dungeons of course again fastest way keep then they'll head over to ankahet and then uh, other dungeons like drag fire and keep and the like but what do you want people, people to do level because okay so wait, wait, wait. so he's saying number of questions as well as because i with the level but not if the economy is dominated right. by bots. What about leveling? What's the best way to level? What's the best way to level? And he tells you to do quests. Meanwhile, he knows full well everyone's going to be doing dungeons because that is the best way to level. What? Again, if if we didn't have all the issues in Classic and the Mega Servers, I would say, oh, go to Burian, Tendra, do quests with Karen Tor. Yeah, if you're playing a single player game, yeah, go ahead. It's like, I love that these people, oh my God, bro. They say it's like, oh, we are missing the social aspect of WoW. Meanwhile, if you're leveling, doing quests and stuff, you are being antisocial. But you can level with a bunch of uh, like four other people and just spam dungeons. Guess what? That's a social activity. You're playing with other players. You're also most likely, if you keep spamming the same dungeon for hours and hours and hours with the same people, you might strike a conversation. When rest, get a reputation because you do want to have that reputation. God. And do X number of questions as well as doing some dungeons in between. But what's likely going to happen in Classic is that people are just really going to level through dungeons. Yes, they'll probably fastest way. Keep. Then they'll head over to Ankahet and then uh, other dungeons like Drag Fire and Keep and the like. Yeah. And that's how people are going to level. Why not? Because it's not just going to be the most efficient way to level. Yes, it will be. It's going to be the only way to level, especially on those mega servers. It's gotten so bad. What is stopping you from doing the quests if everyone else is doing the dungeons? If what you're saying is the best way to level, when someone says, what's the best way to level? And you're like, oh, just go to Burian Tujo, do the quest chains, uh, go to Rimrest, do some quest chains, go to Grizzly, do the quest chains, uh, do the dungeons in between, get the quest for the dungeons, da da da, and all that stuff. What's stopping you from doing that if people are farming dungeons? If anything, it would be easier. You can, you probably have more of the mobs you need to kill in the world, so you can actually like get the materials, get the quest items a lot faster. So what's stopping you from doing what you just said? You know why people are not going to do it? Because it's not the best way. Because the best way is dungeon grinding. Add with those mega servers that Blizzard is literally begging people to not play on certain servers like Ferlina. Yes. Not because they have a problem with mega servers. Because people will complain about queue times. For the post on MMO Champion, please stop playing on the server. You're kind of breaking the game. We can't handle it anymore. Yes. It's yeah, it's a pain. Yes, like what? Like I don't understand. Like he had a problem with mega servers before, and now he doesn't. Yes, Blizzard doesn't want there to be mega servers either. It's the players that are making it. But what is Blizzard gonna do? So force transfer people? Our hardware can't handle how many people are on the server. That's literally what Blizzard has said. No, if it couldn't, people would go into queues. So it can handle. It can't handle the amount of people, therefore people are going into a queue to get into the realm. Like, oh hey, Carolina has a 2,000 person queue because there's like 2,000 extra people that cannot fit in here. It's not that like, well, in that case, yeah, the server, the server can't handle that many people. It's not supposed to. Yeah, the servers have the, their limit of characters playable at any one time. This is not like a diss to Blizzard. This is just how servers are. 
It's like now they could uh, ease the impact to some extent. You know, guarantee quest drops that are required for quests. Uh, Vastlings put approve the spawn and rates or nodes and I rocks. mean, I agree. Make a hundred percent drops on quest items. Like, there's no reason to kill. Like to have a low chance to get like some deer hide that you need or a bear hide that you need in like Grizzly Hills, killing ten fucking deers to get one hide. Like they all have a hide, etc. But even then, that would just be a band aid. It wouldn't be a real fix. A real fix would be a yeah. server reset, creating a completely new server, forcing everyone to transfer to the. Whoa, 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 did he just say? The real fix would be a server reset, creating a completely new server, forcing everyone to transfer to those new servers. Oh my. This is how you're gonna lose all the players. Create a new server and force everyone to transfer. Do you know what would happen? First of all, people are not gonna be very happy. That's one thing. But the worst thing that you're actually doing is you are actually gonna make bots even richer. Because now, because at that point the economy reset and the bots are gonna make a gonna sell gold for a lot more because there's a lot less of it. What a dumb idea! So of course, for free, but forcing everyone to transfer to new servers with hard caps from the very beginning on those servers so that you don't get the mega servers. Not in terms of how many people can. Be what is a hard cap? Does it mean like how many characters can be created on the server? What if a player leaves? What if you have like, let's say the hard cap is 10,000, right? And you have one random douchebag making 10 different characters on that server just to reserve uh, reserve his the names or whatever, and he only plays one of them. Like, what is a hard cap? How many accounts on the server? What if someone has two accounts? Or three accounts? Because again, like, it's, it's a free game. What if someone's multi-boxed? Like it's these are these solutions are so dumb. Then uh, you have the like and let's say what like, let's say uh, what a hard cap is uh, ten thousand right? Let's say right. What does that mean? Ten thousand people that can log in that time? Yeah, that's what a queue timer is. You have more than ten thousand people wanting to log in. Anyone above ten thousand, ten thousand first player is gonna be number one in queue. Ten thousand two player is gonna be number two in queue, etc. This is not a solution. Do you want a hard cap of like 2,000 people? Well, you're going to have a dead server a lot faster than you think because a lot of people are not going to find people to play with. Be online, but in terms of how many characters can be online on those servers. It would piss a lot of people off, especially those that are running multiple accounts, multiple alts, but you have to do something combined with the no, gold reset. No, they don't. Hardline stance on bots, buyers, and sellers, as well as a hardline stance against gold bid runs. For the a thing while. is, all it's going to do is it's going to make it so maybe like in Nextramus, you it's it's kind of solved but by the time old year comes around what are they gonna have to make a new fresh server no like you're still gonna have the same problem it's just gonna come a bit later well at least like not the permanent ban on gold bed run but the oh. temporary ban on gold why bed run. why would you make that why you, those gold runs like the mgkp <laughs> The MBKP, MG, the MDKP, I don't know, whatever. Blah, 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 KP, okay? These runs help players gear up. They do not want to go through the process of finding a guild, of progressing through a fight, dying a hundred plus times. They just want gear. So they want to be matched with good players that can get the bosses down so they can buy items. Or at least a couple of months in ramp plan. Or if they don't buy items, they get a share of the gold. It would do wonders for the community and for the game, I feel. But let's be clear. MGKP is community driven. So saying to remove MGKP, you're going against the community. There would be consequences for that. The player numbers would likely decrease for a while because so many people that are currently for for a while, dude someone leaves classic he's not coming back straight up and at most they'll come back for a raid tier and leave again and honestly i doubt it because if they can't do an mgkp run and they have to find a guild to do it <clears throat> they're not coming back no siree okay like what is this guy talking about classic right now are part of that economy 
do enjoy that economy, do oh. want mm. that economy. Mm. One of the things mm. I'm honestly disgusted by is how many people not only accept the status quo, but want the current situation to continue. It's one thing to get... Because MGKP is one of the best things that happened to Classic WoW. Straight up. Everyone's participating in it. You're guaranteed to kill the bosses. So if you're just there to kill bosses, you're guaranteed. If you're there to make gold, you're guaranteed. If you're there to get loot, well, hopefully you have enough gold, okay? To benefit from it. It's one thing to take advantage of it, as I know quite a few people that I've played with do take advantage of it. It's of course, why not? Say, this is fine. It isn't fine. It isn't. Why? Why? It's because it doesn't, it doesn't fit the standard of 20 years ago. Well, 15 years ago. Because technology changed, my dude. You have so much more information. Now you have a way to reach other people. Like You have a better way to uh, gather people for a certain cause. Yeah, times change. You're not getting Wrath of the Lich King experience back. Get over it. You're not in high school or middle school. People who are playing this game are playing mostly because they used to play it. So they're in the 30s, right? and they have a life they don't have time to play guildmate with you they want to get shit done acceptable but here we are you know we can trash talk blizzard and the higher ups but as long as people not everyone is a fucking streamer or youtuber bro some people work like 12 hours a day and maybe they have two or three hours on the weekend to play because they're fucking busy and they just want to re-experience uh old school classic they just want to do their bosses again they just want to get some of the loot that they used to because they have some nostalgic attachment to it it's like oh my god i can't believe i got this fucking sword i could never get this sword when classic i'm so happy all right well time's up my one hour of gaming is over i have to go now all right i'll try again next week for something else that's all it is they don't have time bro accept this uh, or want this and don't want the alternative don't want any solution that would be painful to be to implement because the solution like if how was it that this was about like uh I think it was said about COVID, but it, it was said about other things before. When the solution is worse than the problem, it's not a solution. If the solution is causing more damage than what the problem is causing, it's not a solution. As long as people are fine with how things are, that's how long the current situation And it, will they work. are fine. They're causing it. It's the community that is doing it. Blizzard has little incentive to fix the problem because in their mind it's why like would a they short-term and blizzard as a company these days only thinks in terms of short-term term gains as opposed to long-term thinking maybe microsoft will change that once they fully acquire blizzard we can only hope about that but for now this is how blizzard is as a company and this is how it's going to continue let's be clear though if blizzard did take a hardline sense if they did try to fix the economic issues the they can't server issues can't. The boosting issues they can't cetera, long term solve by the way they're making worse by adding a level 70 boost and removing the dungeon fire but well listen they have to make their money somehow on this atrocious uh endeavor Not because guess what without the dungeon finder it's much harder to find groups for five mans which means that people are going to be pushed towards the boosts anyway yeah friendly strategy there blizzard i i, I feel Dude, there's no, like, I hate defending Blizzard. There is absolutely no way for Blizzard to win. People said the Dungeon Finder makes the game less um, less social. All right, fine, we'll remove it. Well, Blizzard is on removing it because they want to sell their boost. Bro, they, we're going to sell boost regardless. Let's be real about that. They are going to sell it regardless. But you guys, the people who are like, we want the classic feel you guys are the ones who said the dungeon finder is the worst thing that happened to wrath of lich king it removed um it removed the social aspect all right you know what you're right let's remove the dungeon finder well blizzard's on doing it to make more money now it's going to be harder to find people bro like you want to socialize like what do you want like there's no win for blizzard like no matter what they're gonna do you're always gonna view it that way I feel like the developers, like not only are the developers of Classic unwilling to do the things because they don't have the They did do the things. They removed the Dungeon Finder because community asked them to. The things that they are doing, they're like doing them out of del a delusional 
perspective. It's like, let's remove the dungeon finder because it's going to create a better social experience. People asked for it. The community asked for it. Do you really think Blizzard wants to go out of their way to create more work for themselves with Classic? For no reason? Because the community would be better? So they don't give a fuck if the community is better or not. They want to make the players happy and the players ask for this. Fuck it. Okay, players want this? Alright, here you go. You think you do, but you don't. That's not how that's gonna work. I would agree that the Dungeon Finder certainly leads to a lesser social experience, um, but not uh, on these mega servers, not in an mm, economy dominated by boosts and mm, RNGs, etc. Also, it's, it's it's the combination of all. It's like one small solution is not enough. You need to like fucking nuke the solution and into it. You just need to like fresh start the servers, no Dungeon Finder or with Dungeon Finder if on certain occasions but without dungeon fighter for some occasions uh you don't want the bots there so people don't do mgkp and i've also ban mgkp so people don't do not use their skill in the game of getting stuff done to help other players for a financial reward in the game okay so let's remove that social aspect from the game too um okay um what else do we need to remove to make you happy? There's no happy for you. Maybe we'll just invent time machine, go back in time. Fuck it, Blizzard. Okay, Blizzard, scrap this classic idea. Invest in making a time machine to send these motherfuckers back to 2007 or 2008, whenever Wrath was released, I don't even know, and let them play the game as it was meant to. It's just gonna happen. Which, by the way, at that point, they would be one of the best players because they have years more experience than the current players at that time. <clears throat> and they know all the fights, and they know what to expect, and they know where to get the gear and all that stuff. So, they would also be not classic players at that point because the classic player doesn't know shit about shit, okay? They don't know the meta, they don't know anything, there's no guides yet, but these guys will know everything. The opposite effect given the current state of classic. Oh my god. But here we are. <sighs> we're signing out. Don't forget I can't, to man. Like, uh, I can't. These uh, classic Andes. Join my Discord if you do enjoy my, con uh, if you enjoy my content. Sure then I do enjoy, enjoy the video, by the way. Stay right. tuned for more. Next up, I'm molding, but I'm enjoying the video. My long awaited protection paladin tanking guide for Wrath of the Lich King classic. A long time, quite a few uh, Tanking guide is protection paladin classic. Probably over next few just be a protection paladin classic. Uh, make sure uh, you hit your shield of the righteous when you're inside of your consecration for AOE. Um, or is that a hammer of the righteous actually? And uh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, just keep spamming that consecration and keep spamming that AOE. Uh, make sure righteous fury is up. I believe you still have righteous fury in Wrath of Lich King. And yeah, you're good. There's There's the guide. Oh boy, I'm gonna subscribe. I want to see more from this guy because man, I love these things. Uh, people want results. Why would you level in two weeks when you can? Okay, I saw that. Some like your comments. So is the problem that gold is cheaper? Okay, that's that's similar. All right. Well, holy fuck, man, that was an 18 minute video. I'm really on it. This was a one hour recording. Jesus Christ! On to the next one.